Bill Maher, I try to watch it every so often because I, I used to like Bill Maher. Bill Maher does jokes and I like jokes. But um, what he said about uh, money in politics and Chris Matthews became a joke unto itself. First, after Chris Matthews was fired, here's what Maher had to say. You know, MSNBC used to run this thing. This is the this is who we are. Well, I didn't like who you were this week, right. and I don't think a lot of people who work there like this either. And I think this cancel culture is a cancer on progressivism. Liberals always have to fight a two front war. Republicans only have to fight the Democrats. Democrats have to fight the Republicans and each other. Your own lunatic. I just want to go through this, some of the horrible things that Chris Matthews did. First, he made an analogy. I'm going to read it fast because I don't even understand what the insult was. He was talking about Bernie Sanders' lead in Nevada. I was reading last night about the fall of France in the summer of 1940 in the calls up Churchill and says, it's over. And Churchill says, how can it be? You've got the greatest army in Europe. How can it be over? Obviously, he's a Nazi, <laughs> but he apologized for that. So I hope the victims got some closure. This is Bill Maher pretending not to really understand the fact that uh, Trump compared Bernie Sanders to Hitler. And that was not the only reason that Matthews was in trouble. There were uh, other things that Matthews himself, or that uh, Marr himself mentions. Is Matthew said some things that are kind of creepy to women. This is Marr talking. Mm -hmm. You know, I just guys are married for a million years and they want to flirt for two seconds. He said to somebody, Laura Bassett, four years ago, she's in makeup. Said, "Why haven't I fallen in love with you?" Yes, it's creepy. She said, "I was afraid to name him at a time out of at the time out of fear of retaliation. I'm not afraid anymore." And then Bar Bill Marr says, "Thank you, Rosa Parks." I mean, Jesus F and Christ, I guess my question is, do you wonder how Democrats lose? And uh, it's like, this is the thing, like, yeah, what do you think? What's the thing? I mean, there's so much to unpack. Obviously, Bill Maher needs to retire. I don't believe uh, in cancel culture, except for in his instance. I mean, the reason he's saying this is because he's obviously said the exact same thing to women for decades, right? Mm -hmm. And we know Bill Maher used to be relevant in the 90s. You know, you're making like BJ jokes with uh, Monica Lewinsky and Bill Clinton. That's great, man. But he is. The sun is setting on his political relevance. It has been for a long time. And look, as a comic, I get it. You have to find a unique take, a unique angle. You have to like ruffle feathers and all of this. This is not unique. Like being retrograde and defending basically um, sexual uh, misconduct and say, calling a woman Rosa Parks, ironically, like that's just what the right does. Yeah. He's belittling this experience, which is quite obviously yeah. like a giant issue in Hollywood. Like I worked at a talent agency in like 2004, and that was Ooh. right in the thick. Like they, I mean, we had, yeah, like we had to go to a set, like karaoke bars as like a, a trip, and it was the most fratty experience ever as like we were belittled by having money thrown at us. And I was a dude, like I was a frat dude. What kind of karaoke bar were you going it to? It was like a private room. So oh, when I think back okay. on it, it felt like we were at a strip club essentially, and they were throwing money at us to perform for them. <laughs> and I was, a, I'm a frat boy, like, like I'm literally a frat boy. And I'm like, this is weird, but I'm not gonna say anything because I'm terrified that they're gonna be <laughs> mad at me. Like, I, I mean, the, the things I overheard are, are bad and the things have changed according to everybody but um but it's just it's just so bad um and there's so many things yes he will stay i think he still is relevant cuz much like the view he's an he's indicative of where certain people's heads are at and when you see and and i need that otherwise i have no idea what's going on when i see bill maher i see all the comments of people kind of backing him up being like finally someone said it no, um, I think it's. I think if anyone's backing him up, it's definitely more right wingers than it is anybody else. I think it's. He is. Um, he's speak. He's just trying to say something different. He's trying to go against what everyone else says. Mm -hmm. Like I'm saying, he's trying to find a unique angle, and his angles and his takes are bad. Yeah, they're just bad, and it's too bad that like one of the best like channels, HBO, has I think someone who's pushing the edge on comedy, which is John Oliver, mm -hmm. and someone who really, you know, he is the Chris Matthews of comedy. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but still, I would I would love to see someone from TYT on that show, just to get the yeah. other side of the argument back at them because they're making a lot of assumptions.
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.